Well, hello and good morning. I'm Joanita and welcome to Stitchy Things. This is Vlostuk number 37 on the 24th of October 2023. I think I need to do a blooper section one day because, <laughs> yeah, it went well. Um, it's been a while. It's been a week of five, I think. And yeah, I have something to show you. Um, I have new starts, I have an FFO, I have finishes, I have two giveaway winners, I have investments and I always think I'm not going to buy anything. Next time I won't have anything to show what I bought but yeah that always goes wrong. So okay let's dive right in. Um, yeah let me show you what I have been working on. This is Eliza's French Birds. I bought this one at Simone's from Sud Idee on Dutch, uh, Dutch Mania. I'm sorry for my teary eyes, I have a cold. So it looks like I have been crying, but my eyes are small and teary, but that's okay. Um, let me take out my board and this is where I got to it took me a while to um, to pick the right fabric but I think this is the right one for me look at the colors I love it yeah it is so pretty so yeah I love stitching on this but the pattern is really small. Let me see if I can show you a little piece. I'll put my project bag in front of it. It is so small. So I made a working copy and I enlarged it but now the symbols are really unclear so I don't like stitching on this in the evening because I'm tired and because of the light so I constantly have to put my this pattern underneath my um, stitchy light, my magnifier, and yeah. But I love how it looks so. And this is in the project bag, one of the project bag um, bags Jantina made me. Oh, all my flosses. So that's a perfect size for Eliza's French birds. It's all small. Okay, and then I have one, two, three, four new starts. I had a lot of new starts. I felt like starting everything. And because it was October, or it is October, I uh, found myself participating in Startober. I thought, well, I have all these kitted up projects lying around, so why not start them? So let me think what was the first one. Um, oh, the first one I stitched together with my friend Louisa. She is Flossy Fox Stitcher on Instagram. And we are stitching Greenhouse of Oddities by Lola Crow. Lola Crow cross stitch. I love, love, love this. I saw this one uh, on Johnny Saxon's video for the first time and I really loved it. And then Louisa gave it to me for my birthday. She is so sweet. And this is where I got to. Oh, it's a mess. I need a bigger table. It is a beautiful fabric by Fortnite Fabrics. And this is where I got to. It's not a big piece I stitched, but I love how it looks on this fabric. It is so gorgeous. So yeah, this is where I got to. Not much, but this is a project that needs um, focusing. So the fabric is really uh, uh, 
nice to stitch on it's a 36 count and I'm stitching this two over two so let me put this all on the floor and I will clean up later then I started got the mops I bought this pattern from Jacob at Modern Folk Embroidery but I think everybody knows Jacob and his gorgeous patterns and this is the pattern this one was enabled by Mariam from Marumi Crafts I saw it in her Instagram stories and I thought oh yes that's for me so I picked the fabric it's a X Jude look one two three X Jew Designs fabric and it's called Grandpa's Sleeve and I'm stitching this with silky thread in the color 1234 it's not a black and it's a really dark gray it's like anthracite I don't know how you call that in English but a dark gray and this is why I got to I love the fabric and this part is the bottom part and then the middle part there's a little less less stitching is that is where the letters and the candles are coming so this big splodge you can see you can still see when I stitched it yeah so I love it love 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 and I put this yeah, the project bag is not matching. This is the project bag Sumi Sarah made for me. And yeah, love it. I love everything Alice, Alice in Wonderland. So yeah, that was my second start. Well, I think Cotton Mops was my first and Greenhouse Oddities was the second, but it doesn't matter. Uh, then I finally started in a project bag made by me. Oh, love the birds. And this is Harriet Gotthard, 18, and another number. Let me check. 1817. And this is by Hands Across the Sea. It's across the sea samplers and I must say I really love the pattern that comes in the book it is so clear it's so I love this but yeah maybe I can flash a little piece oh, it's so easy to stitch on I'm stitching this on a 40 count this is also an X2 designs linen but I can't remember <laughs> can't remember the name lamb's wool maybe so this is why I got to not a lot and these are half stitches on the side half crosses I'm using the cold for DMC's because it's charted in silks Swadalje, but I'm stitching this with DMC's I love it. Love, love, love. Look at the colors. Let me see. There are not a lot of colors, and that's what I really like. <laughs> not many color changes. I'm stitching on a secret. How does Shelly, if you watch Welcome Stitchery, Shelly always talks about the secret double spy project I don't know well I'm stitching on one of those and it has a lot of color changes so it's not going very fast so I love if there are not many colors and color changes um, but that but that doesn't keep me from stitching a pattern if there's a lot of color changes and my last new start is I'm I've started this with Debbie, Creatively Yours, and this is Wilbur. I had Wilbur kitted up for a long time, I think over a year. And when Debbie uh, mentioned it in the, in the 
last floss tube that she was going to start this. Something went wrong. I think I leaned on the remote, so let me put it there. Um, I don't know where it stopped, but I was talking about marking off panels. I really need to mark off my panels because if I don't, I'm going wrong. It's going all wrong. Okay, those were my... Oh. Those were my um, whips. Then I had finishes. Well, yeah, I had two finishes. First, I finished my Halloween Biscornu. I put it in a little bag because I had to take it with me to, to town to find little buttons. And I want to finish this before Halloween. And this is what, it's, what it looks like. It's a pattern by the Witty Stitcher. Witty Stitch or Witty Stitcher? Um, oh, let me check. Ooh, I can't read it. Witty Stitch. And this is the front page of the, of the pattern. So I finished this. As you can see, the middle is quite small, so I had to find little buttons that fit right in. And the smallest buttons are a tiny bit too big, but yeah. You see, I was thinking about putting a bead in the middle, but then you have to go from two sides with the, with the thread to sew it. To sew it? <laughs> because otherwise you get a... a the bead will go crooked. I don't know. I don't think that that's looking very nice. So yeah, maybe I can find smaller buttons, but I don't think so. But we'll see. We'll see. Maybe it looks lovely and maybe, or I'll do it without a button. And I have these, maybe there's a button of a spider, a spider button. That would be nice in the middle. Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see. I want to have it finished by next Tuesday. Um, the next one I was stitching with my friend uh, Stitchy Sally. She's Stitchy Sally on Instagram and Flosstube. And I have a finish. I finished it, Sally. And here it is. It is The Simple Things by Emma Congdon. And I love it. I stitched this on, I think it was a 32 count vintage lilac key. That's how I call it. And the flosses I used, or the floss I used was a Spirit by, from France, Tom and Lily Creations. And look at it. I have a little mistake. Yeah, well, little. It's not that little. Something went wrong in this branch. Oh, when you look on the when you look at it on camera, it's not that bad. I was thinking this morning when I was brushing my teeth, I thought I'm going to unpick it and start to of um I'm going to unpick it and then fix the mistake. But now as I'm looking at it, it doesn't really show. So I leave it. I had to fudge this grass swoosh and yeah, no one noticed that, but I don't think you can notice my mistake here. So I will leave it. That saves me some time. I want to put this in a frame. So I have to go look for a frame because I want to frame this myself. Some pieces I really want to uh, get framed, but this one I will frame myself, but I'm not sure if I can find a frame that is that fits. But yeah, that's for later. And I have an FFO. Yes, I have. For my bird wall, it's the second bird, Cranky Owl by Modern Folk Embroidery. I stitched this last year, I think, maybe the year before that. I don't know. 
I used uh, the fabric is by she is on Facebook uh, what's her name I don't know I'm blanking it's totally gone and I used DMC's the variegated threads and a DMC in the dark brown and the frame is from Action or Senos in the Netherlands and I couldn't find the right color and I thought well I have to go to the like a Home Depot store Carway it's right over uh, it's a few minutes away from us and I thought I need to find uh, a paint that matches and then I thought no I have a lot of hobby paints so it's called something America Americana and it was exactly in the color as the floss so I painted my frame and while it was drying I laced it and look at the back it it fits it's not bulky it's yeah I'm really pleased with that one so bird wall piece number two so I was really pleased with that um Okay, FFO finishes whips, that's covered. Then let me show you my investments. The plan was on not buying any patterns. Yeah, well, um, first we went to Brugge. I think you call it Bruges in Belgium. My husband wanted to go for years and years. He was talking about, I want to go to Brugge and yeah, we did, um, because we had an early vacation. My husband got the, the vacation uh, itch and he really wanted to go away for a weekend. So we picked Brugge. And I don't know if you have seen Pam and Steph's video after Dutch Mania, but they went to Brugge as well. So I had to visit het handwerkhuisje. Um, how do you translate that? Yeah, well. A little house with cross-stitch kits. <laughs> Let me put it like that. Oh no, this is not what I bought. I bought this one. And I too had to wear the gloves. Oh, I also had to wear the gloves. And it was really sticky and hot. You know, those gloves you we wore when it uh, was locked down. You know, the blue sweaty things. But I found a really nice kit. I bought this one. I allowed myself to buy two, but I only found one I really, really loved. So that was this one. And you know in what bag it goes? It lives in this bag by Diane. Frog and Fudge. Ah, oh, it's so beautiful. And I really wanted a poppy pattern to put in this bag. And yeah, I love it. They had one in the store. There are more in the series. And this one was hanging framed in the store and it was so pretty I thought you know what it is so beautiful so I can't wait to start this one and I didn't purchase anything else in the store so that was good but at night when we were in bed watching TV I ordered a pattern uh, from Annemiek from the Handwerk Boutique and yeah but she didn't have it in stock so it will come whenever I don't mind I have a lot of projects so I don't mind um, and then I've been making project bags well one for me and one for a friend um, yeah I sent her the one that was the neatest <laughs> I have a little I don't know I have a bit of a trouble I have a bit of trouble with making the binding so I ordered at the sewing machine store I ordered a new machine foot with more pressure and that works but these sides I always start here in the corner no here and then go around like that and then the bottom binding part yeah you know what I mean I can't seem to get it straight but the one I made for my friend is not as crooked as mine so 
yeah and i used um a gold sparkly i don't know if you can see it a gold sparkly vinyl because i bought this fabric to go oh let me show you it's four leaves and i found this fabric with squirrels and i thought it was too oh well that went well <laughs> mariska oh, i hope yours is sturdier than mine um now i'm completely off my game oh yeah the the squirrel fabric i thought it was too i don't know harsh too light to match with this the green fabric and then I had to buy new vinyl and I thought I saw this one with the gold and it mutes the the brightness of this if you know what I mean so yeah and my zipper pool which uh, <laughs> I totally took off is too long so yeah it was a bit to try out but now I see that these things are not sturdy enough so mariska if yours is coming off let me know i'll make i'll make you a new one and i'm not using these things anymore because i found those in my i used to make jewelry and i found those in my stash but they are not sturdy enough so yeah that's a lesson for next time but i really love my project bag so yeah i needed one of those then when we were in Brugge, <coughs> I always love flying tiger. <coughs> Excuse me. The flying tiger store has so many nice things. And I bought this one. Yeah. I think a sock project will go really well in this bag. So oh speaking of socks, I left mine down. Well, I show you next time. They're not finished yet, so I can show you next time. Because I am netting socks as well, two at a time. Um, and then I had my fabric of the month from Simone. I am in the colored and in the neutral club. But unfortunately, we got an email that she's uh, stopping the fabric club because it takes too much of her time. And she didn't realize that, so... Oh, I was so sad. I immediately, when I saw the email, I immediately, immediately texted Tony. Have you seen the mail? She's quitting the Fabric of the Month Club. So yeah, I'm really sad about that. But hey, we can always order fabric, right? But I love the element of the surprise from the Fabric of the Month Club. So yeah, well, it is October. So, well, it's not. It's more orangey than it shows up, but, oh wait, this is better. Yeah, I love this. I needed an orange, but I'm not sure if it's big enough. I have this pattern by Teresa Corgat. It's called Silo Witches. I don't know, it must be here somewhere. Well, anyway, oh, I really want to show you. Oh, no. Well, anyways, when I started, I will show you. And I needed an orange fabric for that. This is a 40 count. And it's called Pumpkin by Fiber on a Whim. And I really love this one. But I'm very sad that the Fabric of the Month Club is stopping. That was the only Fabric of the Month Club in the Netherlands we have. So, yeah. Then there was a sale. I bought this through Facebook and I bought a piece of Confederate Grey by Greek Star Rocks, I think and this is the one it's a quarter and yeah I thought that always comes in handy so I bought a piece of this and then I bought a piece of linen, just plain linen. It's a big piece. This is double the size. Let me put it like that. This is double the size and it's a 40 count. And I want to use this for dyeing or yeah. 
Oh, and I want to use this for um, Satsuma streets. They have these four seasons, Inverno, Otoño, and the spring and the summer. And I thought, maybe this one, because I ordered the floss a week or two ago for Inverno. So, yeah. I don't know if you call it Invierno. Invierno? Invierno? Well, the winter one with all the blues and the purples. It's really pretty. So I thought if I stitch this on that on this one and I can use this fabric and for the other seasons as well. Or maybe with a little dye. I don't know. But yeah. Oh, and she put in a little band creep pattern. And then... I got my order from Needlework Market and I ordered this one. I have Strawberry Fair as well. This is Pumpkin Fair and it's by October House Fiber Arts. Oh, it's so cute. It is so cute. And of course, the Blue Flower, one of my favorite designers, Autumn Bee. This is so pretty. But this is silk uh, dyed. Uh, oh my gosh! This is stitched with silks, and she used um, dinky dyes, but she has a DMC conversion, so I'm going to use that. But I think for the wings of the bee, um, I want an over dyed with a little variegation in it because of the wings. I think that's a beautiful, and maybe for the roses at, as well. But we'll see. I have a fabric like this, a little bit on the purple side. It's a, it's a Zweigart color, a Zweigart fabric, and I think it really it is really suitable for this pattern. Yeah. Um. And then Yasmin had her birthday. Happy birthday, Yasmin! And she had a sale, so I thought, hmm. So I set my alarm and let me see. I bought Autumn Owl. I love this one. This is for my bird wall as well. And I bought, let me see. I haven't um, split them. They're all in one stack. So I bought the Fox. So cute. And I wanted more fall patterns. I don't have a lot of fall patterns. So I thought I can always use some fall patterns. I bought the little mouse. It's so cute. And I got the squirrel in the same series. Look at him. Oh, it is so nice. And then I, oh, yes, this one, this one, I was eyeballing this for a while since it came out. I love it. And I really want a bright purple fabric as, like this as well. Or maybe I'll dye my own. I can do that as well, but look at it. It is so pretty. So yeah, those patterns I ordered from Yasmin. And that's it for my... My holes. Um, I needed to get some bedding for my project bags. And when I go into that store, I always say to myself, only buy what you need and nothing else. But yeah, she had new fabrics, so I couldn't not. Let me, this is the right color red. And I'll show you this. So yeah, that's really how it looks. I love this fabric so much. She had all these new fabrics and she had those panels from Klimt. Oh, with the cat and oh, it was so beautiful. It was so beautiful. But I allowed myself this so I can make a project bag out of it. And yeah, I can use the, the leftovers for backing of pillows or I don't know, backgrounds. I don't know. And then I had to go to the yarn store because as I 
told you a video ago or two videos ago I ordered this one the self-striping yarn but it was a 50 gram ball and not a hundred gram ball and I picked this one out but it doesn't really match it's too light so I thought well now I need to go to the store and it's in Maasbracht it's up north about half an hour and I bought the second skein it's not the same dye lot but yeah you can hardly tell and if this is going to be socks one is on this foot one is on the other foot so I don't mind so I looked up look at the difference but you not always you can't always tell if you look on screen if the colors are right so I bought this one to go with this and then I had this left yeah then I found this it's a tweed yarn and I thought well I can match that with the yellow one that's at home so look at the specs of color I really like it this is Durable Socks and this is Scheepjes Metropolis and the other ones are Scheepjes Downtown the self striking and I had a new jacket but I didn't have a scarf or cowl cowl shawl I don't know to go with it so and as I was wearing the jacket I thought I better I buy some yarn now so now I can match with my coat so I bought two balls of Scheepjes Scrumptious and it has a little bit of wool look to it but it's an acrylic it's made of recycled uh, plastic bottles so that's good and it is really really soft so and it has a I think it has a prettier look than the usual acrylic yarn so yeah so I picked out a pattern it's by Drea Renee Nitz I think Andrea Nitz on Ravelry I have to buy it but I picked it out and yeah I'm going to knit a scarf and socks but let me finish my socks first that I started so that was it for investment Finn our youngest is doing a minor for his study and he went to South Africa oops there I went he went to South Africa uh, for four weeks and then they went to Spain for three weeks now they are in Austria and when they are done in Austria they are going to Belgium and then the minor is done and next year he'll be going for a second minor to Sweden for half for half a year so yeah my husband and I were talking about going to Sweden next week uh, next year for a few days to visit Finn but oh, when he was little you couldn't bring him anywhere we always had to unscrew his uh, little crib and take it with us on vacation because he wouldn't sleep anywhere else besides in his own bed and yeah it was a real problem and now the child is going all over the world so yeah I'm so proud of him but he brought us some goodies from South Africa and he also brought this tea towel and I said to him it's much too pretty to be a tea towel so I thought I said to him I'm going to make something out of it and he said you can't cut in it you can't cut in it and I said no I won't cut in it but I think I'm going to make this into a pillow look at it I love the colors and yeah it's I love the the, the symbols the pattern yeah they went they stayed in Pretoria in a in a compound they couldn't go out by themselves uh, especially at night and yeah they went to Cape Town for a few days and uh, a few days or one I don't know they went to the Table Mountain because we got a video call and when Finn calls us usually there's something wrong so I yeah obvious obviously we knew he was in South Africa and then I got a whatsapp a video call and I said to my husband oh my god Finn is calling this is not good and he wanted to show us he was on the table mountain and it was very high and 
yeah, it was beautiful. So we had a little chat and we had, yeah, we could enjoy the view that he was enjoying. So that was, that was really nice. So yeah, this is going to be a pillow. I love it. Um, and then, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, let me do my giveaway winners. I wanted to pick some winners and now usually you can type in a keyword and yeah, now you need a premium subscription. I don't know what. So, and that wasn't working. It was filled with advertisements and I couldn't see the trees through the forest. <laughs> well, anyways, it was not, yeah, it drove me mad in my head. So I... Uh, looked further on the internet and I found pickawinner.co and that really worked. I couldn't uh, type in um, a keyword. So the fabric I showed you, Antique Market by Five on One. Oh, I can read it. This is called Antique Market. It's a 32 count fabric and this is one by Gina van Brabant. So Gina, send me your, um, oh, <laughs> send me your uh, address and I will pop this in the mail to you this week. And this one, the, the project bag by Pauline from Sobe Bags is one by Evelyn Yol. So Evelyn, I will put this in the mail. I have your address already. So this... Uh, this goes in the mail this week. So, yeah, congratulations, ladies. I hope you enjoy. And, yeah, that's it. I think, oh no, 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 no. I'm not there yet. <laughs> plants. Yeah. Okay, plants. Uh, they can always change, but the plan for now is this Friday, today is Tuesday. And Friday I'm going to start, this is my last Startober start, and I'm going to start this together with Debbie. This is by Lanarte, and it's called Fox, or The Fox, I don't know. And, yeah, Fox, and it's from the Animals series. And I really, oh, I love the wolf as well. Look at this face, it's so cute. And the owl is pretty, and oh, they're all pretty. But yeah <laughs> let me start by this one i have a few other um full coverages but yeah that's not going so fast at the moment so i, I really need to to focus that works best for me if i want to get some progress but i'm really um stitch what i want when i want kind of yeah girl <laughs> i wanted to say girl but <laughs> i'm not a girl anymore but yeah let me let let me say i'm a girl i'm not i'm a sweet wee girl so yeah but oh, love this i'm not sure if i'm going to use this fabric oh, where did i put my glasses um i don't know it says 10.5 threads per centimeter what is that 14 counts 20 it's an even weave so i think it's a 28 count well maybe i will pick something from stash that is a little bit smaller but yeah i don't know i'm just going to start this on the fabric that's that goes with the kit and if i don't like it or i think the crosses are too big i will go to a higher count and um, yeah i have some uh get it up projects laying on the couch downstairs <laughs> my husband wasn't very pleased <laughs> oh sorry i wobbled the camera um i usually we have a two and a half persons couch the big couch or three yeah three persons and i'm always on the left and he's always on the right and we have the middle is for zoe but in the back uh, where your head is i always have a project bags but because I started a lot and I didn't bring anything else up. <laughs> I went further to the left or to the right while my husband is sitting. So 
he had all these project bags behind his head and when he <laughs> moves forward the project bags uh, fell in his neck so he he was not amused you have a, a stitchy room go put them there and i said well my stitchy room is full and i want them at hand i need them close to me well he thinks i'm an idiot well he didn't say that but yeah that's what i made of it <laughs> anyways um so, that, so this is uh, my stitchy stitchy section now i'm going to the book section so if you don't if you're not interested, oh my god, one, two, three. If you're not interested in books or book talk, we'll say goodbye and I hope to see you next time. And yeah, let me tell you what I have been listening to. I've been listening to the Senat yeah, it's Sanatorium. I don't know what it's called in English. It's by Sarah Pierce and it's about this uh, hotel in Switzerland. It used to be a yeah i don't know sanatorium i don't know the english word for it so i'll just say sanatorium <clears throat> it used to be a sanatorium uh, for women with um yeah diseases but uh turns out the women that were put there were a nuisance to their husband or i don't know but anyways uh, they made it in a hotel um now and it's about this uh woman she's from the uk and she works at the police she's a detective but she's on leave and her brother is going to marry and they have the uh, the engagement party i don't know what in the hotel because they work both they both work at the hotel and then they find a body and then they found another, find another body and then everything is closed off because of the snowstorms and yeah she's going to help solve the case because the police is not able to come to the hotel so yeah and first i thought hmm it was mainly about uh oh, i forgot her name it was mainly about the main character of course but she came across as yeah i thought she had ptsd turns out she has a, at least in my opinion it's a form of ptsd and yeah it's i don't know i thought she was a bit uh, i don't know how to put this but i thought well let me listen to it a bit more and then yeah so if you want to start reading this you have to uh um, well, you don't have to do anything, but if you want to read it, uh, read further. It's going to be very good. So yeah, I really like that one. I think if I should give it the stars, it would be three and a half, four stars. So yeah, I enjoyed it, but I've been reading better books. But that doesn't mind. I enjoyed it. Um, and I listened to... Yeah, I don't know what it's called. I'll, I'll put it in here. Um, Perfecte Wraak. It's uh, part 7 in the Helen Fields series about uh, Luke Kellenach and Eva Turner. And yeah, it felt a bit like the last book. But I hope... Yeah, it had kind of a cliffhanger. So there is room, I think, for uh, number 8. But she's... She wrote a book called Shadow Man. I placed a reservation at work for this book. And it's about um, a new couple that works in, in police pathology. So, yeah, I can't wait for that one. Because I really want to know if she's coming back in the books. I'm not sure. I hope this isn't a spoiler. I will put spoiler alert <laughs> before I'm going to talk about this book when I'm editing. Okay, and then I was reading the newest from MJ Arledge. It's called An Eye for an Eye, Oog om Oog. And yeah, I'll, usually I really enjoy MJ Arledge books, but this one was a bit slow for me at the beginning. And usually when I read the first chapter, I'm in. And But this one, maybe it's the, the subject, uh, the topic I 
don't really like. I don't know. It's about these convicted um, fel uh, how do you call it? felons. I don't know. Uh, convicted murderers. Um, you know, uh, and they got out of prison, and they got a new identity, and all these people get murdered, and it's mainly about the um, parole agency. I don't know if that's a good word, but um, so it's not really a police story, if you know what I mean. But it's, yeah, well, it, it has to do with murder and it, uh, there's police involved, but it's mainly about the, I think the parole agency. I don't know what, what the word for it is. And yeah, the, the people with the new identities are getting murdered. And at first I thought, hmm, but I kept reading and then, yeah, I really wanted to finish it. But again, I think if I compare this with the other MJ Arledge books, I prefer the other ones. But there was, was no, uh, what's her name? There's this series about, is her name Helen? About the main character from MJ Arledge. But it's not about that. It is is it's standalone. So yeah. And then I read the new one by Daniel Cole. It's called Jackdaw, and I really like that one. Yeah, Daniel Cole is a really good writer. So yeah, I recommend. If I had to give it stars, it would be a four, four and a half. I think I really enjoyed that one. And then I read more books, but these are uh, which I really liked the most. I read another book and I stopped. I took it back to work because I didn't like it. And then I started reading two nights ago. I started reading this book. Um, I had a customer at work last week and we she wanted a, a membership and she was talking about books she read and the books she wanted to read and if I knew of any books. Um, and she recommended one to me. It is called Wenner Maran. It translates to get used to it, and it's about women in, yeah, our uh, age range. So around 50s, menopausal, you know. So uh, this is so funny. This is so funny. I don't think it's translated in English, but if you are Dutch and you're about my age and you want to have a laugh, please try this <laughs> it is so funny you know when you get um the slappelach where you have to laugh so hard that you cry and that you can't catch your breath and yeah that's this one and i heard finn in the back of my head always when i when he's at home and i have to laugh like that he says oh, oh there she goes again so yeah this one it is so funny so yeah, it's. I think it, it takes me a few nights and then I've finished it. But I wanted something fun between all the murders and the, the mysteries I'm reading. Um, there are a few books. I was watching Kathleen, Kathleen's Trodden Trail. She was a new floss tuber to me. And if you haven't seen her, go watch her. She has these lovely um, projects and she has a few... I wouldn't buy when I saw them in the pattern, but she had them finished and I thought, ooh, so maybe maybe she enabled me to purchase one or two of those patterns because yeah, I really loved them. They were they were Halloween uh, themed uh patterns, but if I buy them, I will show you next time. Um and she had some really good book tips, so I wrote them down and I want to see if I can but I have a stack of books, well, at least this high, next to my uh, bed, so, yeah, on my nightstand, so <laughs> I really need to read them first, but, yeah. Okay. Then, I've been watching some really good things. First, on Netflix, Lupin, season three. Yeah, highly, highly recommend. It is fun, it is, yeah, yeah, I love Lupin. 
Then we watched, uh, I watched, uh, this is a series of mine. We have series together. My husband has his own series and I have my own series. But sometimes, um, yeah, we have our own series and we have thoughts together. And I watched The Order on Netflix. It's not really my, uh, I don't fit in the targeted audience, I think, but I really enjoyed it. It's about this, um, this college where there's supposed to be uh, a rumor has it that there is a secret uh, society of um, something. And yeah, well, if you get invited, you know they exist, but you can't talk about it. And yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was two seasons, I think. And I watched The Fall of the House of Usher. And if you are an Edgar Allan Poe fan, I highly recommend. Um, yeah, it was great. That was and really, really, um, if you like, mystery and a bit creepy with ghosts. Yeah, I highly recommend watching this one. Then I started on HBO Max. I always need um, a police series. It's called East New York. Did I say that already? Yeah, and I like that. It's like NYPD Blue, you know, the the usual TV series about police stations. So yeah, I really like that. And then um, my husband needed a new laptop. So uh, we got three months Apple TV for free. So we started watching The Morning Show. It's with Reese Witherspoon and Jennifer Aniston. And I really liked it, especially the first season. It is really good. The second season, yeah, yeah, I like the first one better, but we all, we have now watched three episodes of season two, so we're not that, that far in the, in the season, but so far I like season one better. And yeah, this was the best one I watched. Hijack with Idris Elba. First of all, he's a great actor. He's gorgeous. He's, yeah. But it was so good. It has seven episodes and it's about this guy uh, who was in Dubai and he's going back home. And I think he has a difficult time with his divorce. He's still very attached to his ex-wife and the plane get hij gets hijacked. It is so good. And he's not a policeman in the series. He's a negotiator. A negotiator for businesses so yeah it is so good and that's why I went wrong with the simple things <laughs> so it was so good I highly highly recommend and then we finished only murders in the building on Disney and I there is a season four coming so I can't wait because I really enjoy that series and oh I watched that log that log and it's a Australian series and it's about this uh, detective and she moved with her wife to Tasmania. I think they're in Tasmania now and they came from, I don't know, and something happened there and they moved to make a new start. And then it's really a quiet village and then all these bodies start to drop. And yeah, it's really, it's different. And that's why I liked it so much. It's not your usual uh, police series, uh, murder mystery. Yeah. And especially the, the detective that's coming in from, I don't know, somewhere else in Australia and she comes to help out. It is so funny and it's so, yeah, that look. And I think it was on, I don't know, Netflix? But I'm not sure. But if you Google it, you, you can find it, I'm sure. So yeah, that's it. Um, I closed my book. Um, I'm, I think that's it, what I wanted to show you. So yeah, that's it. Um, if I haven't said this already, thank you so much for returning viewers. Thank you for my new viewers. I had to start over a few times, so I can't remember if this is the one I said it at the beginning, so 
I will mention it again. Thank you, thank you so much. Slowly but surely my numbers are going up and I'm very grateful. Thank you so much. Um, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.